Welcome to the BioBalance HealthCast, episode number 522, Got Testosterone, wins the Independent Press Award for the best book in men's health 2019. BioBalance Health features conversations about anti-aging medicine. Your hosts are Dr. Kathy Maupin, Medical Director of BioBalance Health, and a leading expert in treating symptoms of aging, and Brett Newcomb, a licensed professional counselor. Dr. Maupin and Brett are the authors of The Secret Female Hormone, the seminal work about testosterone replacement therapy for women, and Got Testosterone, the newly released book for men that helps men choose the most effective and safe form of T replacement. These books are available on Amazon or from Dr. Maupin's office at BioBalance Health in St. Louis and in Kansas City. Dr. Maupin's office is currently accepting new patients. So, Dr. Maupin and I have written two books about hormone therapies for people that age, as, the, as people age. We wrote our first book five years ago. Uh, it was well-received. It did well. Uh, it was published in six countries, mm-hmm. uh, and we've been very pleased with it. It was focused on, written about, and for women and their doctors. About uh, testosterone therapy, which is the secret. Yeah, the secret female hormone. In the course of the next five years, we were constantly inundated with requests for information specifically tailored to men. What about men? As men age, do they need testosterone? How is it different from what women experience and from what women need? And the whole concept of men and women both needing testosterone kind of begs the question of, well, how different are they? How different are they in what they need and and how the treatments go? and what the treatments are, and what the treatments treat. So we decided, you know what, they keep asking, let's write a book. Mm -hmm. And we wrote a book, and we published it in 2019. And it was submitted without our knowledge by our publisher for a contest, the International Press Award contest, Mm -hmm. that identifies the best books in a series of categories. We won the the award for the best book for men's health. Mm that was published independently in 2019. It's very exciting for us. We're very proud of it. The difference was the, the, the very first book that we wrote for women, we wrote uh, with, we had an agent, we had a publisher. We did the traditional thing. We did thing. a traditional yeah. thing of uh, going through a publisher, going through the process, and it was exhausting. Well, it, <laughs> so... In those days, Mm -hmm. back in the old days of 2014, Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. we had been working on writing this book, and we were asking ourselves, what are we going to do with this when we get it written? And we checked with experts. What do you do when you've written a book? How do you get it out Mm -hmm. to the world? And what they said was, you have to find a professional agent. Mm -hmm. And the way you do that is you write an outline. You send Mm -hmm. the first uh, three chapters. Mm -hmm. You send a plan for what your book is supposed to do. Uh, to agents, and you say, hey, Mm -hmm. will you consider having us as clients? So then the agent gets these things all the time. They read through them, and they find the ones they Mm -hmm. think they can be beneficial for, and then they take the same information, maybe sign a contract with you about how this all works, Mm -hmm. but they take that information in and send it to various publishers, and the the publishers get speculation copies of that information, Mm -hmm. and if they think they're interested, then they say, okay, we want to see the book, mm-hmm. and we'll give you some money, and you send us the book, and we have exclusive rights for publishing the book if we decide to, if we decide to publish it. Right. And, and that's what happened. We found an agent. He was in Canada. His name's Rick Broadhead. He was very – none of this had to do with being – having a difficult time with our agent. He was awesome. Yeah. We actually went to visit him in Toronto just so we could have a face-to-face meeting. And interestingly enough, he said we were the only people – he'd done – He'd been a a rep for a lot of books. We're the only people that wanted to meet him face to face. Right. I guess that's the Midwest. Anyway, (laughs) anyway. So, but he was he was excellent. And then Hay House picked the book up, and Hay House is a women's publisher, um, a publisher for women readers. So that that process was difficult and kind of onerous because they added it, and and we had lots of information we really wanted to put into it. But they said it wouldn't be good for readers. It they wouldn't were, sell. Yeah. It wouldn't sell. So but women wouldn't read it. So they, so they cut out a lot of stuff that I thought was very important, which I'll probably have to write another book for. So um, for women, uh-huh. but uh, 
but that part, let's, let me just say it disappointed me. I didn't want to be... It frustrated you yeah. because there were things... You were speaking to an audience, and, and if you've ever read, and I suggest that you should, of course, The Secret Female Hormone, in the, in the forward, in the introduction of it, Kathy talks about the fact that she had a horrible personal experience with the loss of her hormones. And physicians that she went to, multiple physicians with multiple specialist titles, all told her... You're getting old. This is what happens to women who get old. These things are going to cause your quality of life to deteriorate, but that's what happens when you get old. When you get old, I was 47, and I'm, and that was 18 years ago. Yeah. And she finally found a doctor, Gino Turturro, who said, mm, I got something for you that will help you. And he gave her testosterone. He gave her hormone replacements of the hormones that she had lost because of the surgery that she had had. And he gave me testosterone pellets specifically because I had tried creams and gels and that didn't do anything for me. And almost overnight, I mean, with a, in a matter of a week or 10 mm -hmm. days, you felt rejuvenated. You right. got your energy. I was energy. Kind of back to my old self. Yes, that quickly. It was a dramatic thing. And so then your response to that, you, you mull that over for a while, but your response to that is that was a message. I need to take my career in a different direction. I want to do this for other women mm -hmm. who've had similar experiences, mm -hmm. who've gone to physicians that don't know what I now know, mm -hmm. and been told, you know what, you just have to live with it. That's the way getting old for women happens. No matter when it happens. And then, and then in your search for finding this new direction in your business, you found a group, two groups of physicians internationally that were doing the same thing. I mean, mm -hmm. great, great minds run in small circles. And mm -hmm. so these different doctors groups began to meet to talk to other doctors about understanding hormone replacement treatment strategies. What works best? What do you use it for? What triggers the need for it? Where do you get the supplies? How does all this mm -hmm. come together in the marketplace so that ordinary women who go to their doctors and are experiencing hormone loss mm -hmm. as they age can have positive outcomes. So she found that path forward. And so we felt when we sent the book, the manuscript to Hay House, that they would see it and go, oh my gosh, this is great. Let's just publish this. What we got back was an edited manuscript with, and we had grammar issues and well, we spelling yeah, issues I mean, and we fact check issues. If you quote somebody, you have to have all the correct annotations. We hadn't done Malcolm Gladwell's 10,000 hours yet. Apparently not. <laughs> So we're now better at that. Yeah. So so they edited the manuscript, and they said, now we have one we're ready to produce. But you have to take – for instance, there was a, a science chapter about uh, all the technical details. The that, physiology and the anatomy of how – Those are the technical how details. How it works. <laughs> yeah. You know, basically, all the all the – biology, physiology, things, how, how does this work with this? All the questions that people ask me every day. But they said, this is not a medical textbook. It's not written to be one, and we don't want this chapter in it. We, we want this to be a book that says to women, ta-da, aha, there's something for you. Now go here and get it. Uh, and, and we want it to be a quick and easy read. We want it to be not too deep, too technical, too hard. So we fought with them back and forth because we really wanted to get it published. And, mm -hmm. and have it out there for women and for other doctors. And actually, probably as many doctors have bought this book from us mm -hmm. and from Hay House and from Amazon uh, as women. Mm -hmm. And they give it to their patients. And they say, here, take this and read it. You will understand what I'm trying to do. You will understand what you need. tons of time yeah. because they don't have to explain everything. They just say, here, read this, and then we'll talk about it next time you come in. So then we began to get doctors. I mean, it was published. Hay House published it in six countries, and we were grateful, and it had good response. But then we began to get doctors as well as women that had husbands and sons mm -hmm. that said, what about my man? What does <laughs> he need? Mm -hmm. What do we need to know about his aging process? Mm -hmm. And so we thought, well, can't they just read the women's book and understand <laughs> it? No, I didn't think that. but I, just... I did. <laughs> But I was getting a, a separate education in all mm -hmm. this stuff, mm -hmm. stuff I didn't know. And, and so Kathy said, we have to write a men's book. So we set aside time, and we made the effort, and we wrote a men's book. And we thought, well, this is an answer to those questions. We'll put it out there. And this time, we went to uh, someone that specializes. She, she's called the book professor. 
and she specializes in helping people with a miss- mission and a message, mm-hmm. getting their message together in book form, and then finds a publisher for them and gets it published and gets it out there. Was a independently. Lot, that's what an independent publisher is. is not that some you big don't have to go through system. A book company. Yes. You go through the independent publishing, which is much more practical now than it was in 2014. Yeah, the technology keeps changing. Because of Amazon and other places you can buy online. So, I mean, both well, yeah, books because, are online. They're both on Amazon, but, but it wasn't nearly as common to buy a book. There were still big bookstores in 2014. There were big bookstores, and, and Hay House had to pu- order the print publication of 10,000 books and ship them around the country and internationally. So they'd go into bookstores and be on the shelves. And I remember we went on a book tour to England mm-hmm. uh, to do a radio show and some talks uh, to promote our book. Mm-hmm. And we walked into one of their bookstores uh, and found our book on the shelf. Mm-hmm. And it was a very exciting thing. And we went into one of the universities and mm-hmm. found our book on the shelf. It was very and it was cool. very exciting for us. Uh, but the publishing industry changed. Hay House changed its focus. It didn't want to publish those kinds of books anymore. And other publishers were things we didn't want to deal with. All of that agitation and trauma and power struggles. So we found a publisher that could print digitally and mm-hmm. manually. So we can get hard copies of our books or you can download them online at Amazon. And it's easy for us because we control it. You control it. You know, my... my- Nancy Erickson is the book professor. You can Mm -hmm. find her online under book professor if you have a book that you want to get out there. But she she was integral to... She helped keep us focused. (laughs) To getting us, getting this printed. Yeah, we we had deadlines. We had had to think it through. We had to talk to her about different ways to present things like the difference between a word that doctors use called gynecomastia and a word that people use called man boobs. And so we had to decide, were we going to be writing for doctors or for people? And we wrote for people. So we wrote man boobs instead of gynecomastia, which no one can... It's easier to spell. Yeah, and no one can pronounce. So (laughs) can can pronounce the gynecomastia. So so we made those differences, and we we had to make those decisions. Yes. And then, and Nancy helped us make those. And so she was, she also put us up for this prize. And we didn't. We didn't know that. No, yeah. and we didn't know we were that we were uh, entered. And and our publishing company. So there's a publishing company that she helps you find. Our publishing company uh, worked with her to uh, to send this in, send our manuscript in. So we find out it's like Christmas. You don't even know you're having Christmas. It just shows up. And she's and she let us know that we'd won the Men's Health version, yes. which was very, it was really exciting and it was gratifying because all my patients like to read it. And, and there are a lot of books for men on testosterone, but this is specifically about the best way to treat a man and in terms of testosterone and, and the best form of testosterone, which is pellets and all the other things that happen to men as they age and how to avoid them. Different, different, it, it's, the basis of it is testosterone pellets, and then you, we add other things to keep men healthy, keep them from getting the diseases of aging. So these are all these are this is what this book is about. And we said got testosterone because like, just like milk, everybody needs it. Right. So uh, we, I look forward to a world when this is when our book is mainstream, when all men and women who start to age, get to 50-something, and their doctor says, well, now it's time to start your testosterone replacement, uh, and then you'll avoid diabetes, heart disease. Uh, you'll also avoid um, autoimmune diseases and losing all your muscle mass and inability to walk, and, and it helps you lose weight, and it gains muscle. So you would avoid all of the diseases of aging and Alzheimer's as well. Then you you would also... Get rid of the symptoms that people complain about, like, oh my gosh, I hurt here, I hurt there. I, you know, all of the symptoms of low libido and low activity, poor motivation, all of these would be resolved. And then what would doctors have to do, I guess? <laughs> so if you want to be functional and healthy and independent as you age for as long as you live, at least consider hormone replacement therapies. 
And to get information about what that is and how it works, read both of our books, The Secret Female Hormone and Got Testosterone. They're award winners. Thank you. Email your questions or comments to podcast at biobalancehealth.com. You can find the Biobalance HealthCast on iTunes and on YouTube. For more information about bioidentical hormone pellet therapy and other reverse aging solutions, visit biobalancehealth.com or call 314-993-0963. You can find Dr. Maupin on Twitter at Dr. Kathy Maupin and on Facebook at facebook.com slash biobalancehealth. Find Brett Newcomb at brettnewcomb.com.